What's up guys, Left First here, and today we're doing a Beyblade battle between all of the prize base from Random Booster Volume 6 onwards. So basically all the God prize base and the Chozetsu prize base to be released uh, so far. So that's, uh, what, how, many, how many is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, I think it's Random Booster Volume 6 to Random Booster Volume 11. So yeah, let me just introduce all the prize base, all like the super hype prize base. Now, these, these Beyblades are all the Beyblades that were released in Random Boosters. And Random Boosters are basically like... Like you just get here. I got I got one right here. This is random booster volume 11 and basically uh, you can get you buy this uh, Booster you probably all know what a random booster is But for those who don't you buy a booster you get all these bays You can get any one of these bays and uh, the prize bay is the like special bay that you get with like new parts So yeah, these are all the prize bays from random boosters volume 6 you get the prize bay tornado wyvern for glaive atomic which in my opinion, is the best prize bay. Just because when it came out, I was just so hyped for it. It was such a cool bay. But like, let's be honest, it came with the Atomic Driver, which was like, to date, one of the best drivers out there. And it came with a free spinning ring as a gimmick. Like, free spin, now, free spin anything. It was just really cool. Let's just be honest there. And yeah, um, Random Booster Volume 7, you got the Banana, <laughs> Maximum Garuda, 8 Flow, Flugel, now the Banana is pretty cool, the Banana is like really OP too, it got banned from the WBO, but it's not as cool as Tornado Wyvern, because Tornado Wyvern's the best, then from Random Booster Volume 8, wow, I really like the prize base, I just realized this, I really like the prize base, anyway, from Random Booster Volume 8, you get Shelter Regulus, which it's a really cool looking bay, not that good, actually not as good as the last two bays, but it's a really cool looking bay, and my Tower Driver actually broke, so I'm gonna have to replace it with this orange one. From Random Booster Volume 8, we get Beat Kakulkin, which Beat Kakulkin probably the lamest one out of all of them in my opinion, but Beat Kakulkin not a bad bay. I just, his colors are kind of like all over the place. That's why I don't really like it. Anyway, so it's Beat Kakulkin 8 under um, Hunter. And yeah, moving on from Random Booster Volume, wait, was that 9? Yeah, that was 9. From Random Booster Volume 10, we got uh, Crash Ragnarok 11, uh, why? What is this? Re reach. Yeah. 11 Reach Wedge. Is that Wedge? Yes, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I mess up any of the names. It's just that there's so many Beyblade Park names I kind of forget sometimes. Anyway, finally, we got the latest one. Random Booster Volume... Uh, wait, did I say this one was 11? This one was 10. Random Booster Volume 11. We got Vice Leopard 12 Lift Destroy. And yeah, I'm gonna be pairing these guys up. I'm just gonna be like randomly pairing them. Like there's not gonna be... It's not like a tournament. There's no order at all. It's just gonna be kind of a chill video. I hope you guys enjoy. Anyway, so yeah. I'm just gonna randomly pair them. So let's do let's do the latest two. Let's do Tornado Wyvern versus Vice Leopard first. Let's just see how it goes. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. Okay, there they are. The two prize bases. It's so weird because if you guys know, prize bases are like one of the most expensive Beyblade uh, to carry Tony products that burst out there. Like all these prize bases, they go for like fifty dollars and above. It's crazy. It's crazy. Oh my gosh. And honestly, I think. Out of all of these, the worst prize bay is probably gonna be Shelter Regulus competitively, but looks wise, I'm gonna say it's Vika Culkin. Like, I, I don't like Vika Culkin that much. I mean, it's cool and all, but like, all these, all these guys, I actually really like. Vika Culkin's like a meth Beyblade for me, but when you're paired up against all these other guys, it's kinda like, eh. Anyway, so I'm not doing all the other prize bays. I do have uh, Random Booster Volume 5, Ga Gaia Prize Bay, and Random Booster Volume 4, uh, Quad cuts a quota prize bay. Actually, I'll just cut those guys out right now. But we're not going to be battling with them because honestly, I don't think they really stand a chance against like the god layers or whatever. But well, I don't know. You never know. Anyway, so yeah, let's move on. Let's do. Let's do these two. Let's do shelter regulars first. Maximum Garuda next. Three, two, one, go. Shoot. Three, two, one, go. Shoot. Now I do not have the prize base for uh, Random Booster Volume 2 or Random Booster Volume 1 because I wasn't around back then, which kind of sucks because I really want those prize bays, but they're so expensive. Oh, he got bursted. Of course, the banana always, the banana always peels. Hilarious, the banana always bruises. Anyway, so yeah, I do not have Random Booster Volume 1 or Random Booster Volume 2 prize bays just because like, um, I wasn't around then and I can't even get them now because they're so expensive. Like they're like a hundred plus dollars for like a single Beyblade. I'm not paying that much for one Beyblade, guys. I know I'm a Beyblade channel, and I'm supposed to bring you the quality content. Let's do uh this one versus uh, Bika Culkin, the banana versus Bika Culkin. I know I'm supposed to give you guys quality content, but like, I don't want to pay like a hundred dollars for a plastic spinning top that will only use for like three videos. 
I'm sorry, guys. I mean, should I, guys? Okay, you guys, tell me in the comments. Should I waste $100 to get the uh, prize pay from Random Booster Volume 2 and Random Booster Volume 1? I think the prize pay was, like, if I remember correctly, it was, like, um... Uh, Trident Heavy Claw, and then the other one from Random Boost Volume 2 was Exceed Evil Eye Wing Needle. And Needle, I don't know, Needle's kind of like a meth driver. Let's do that battle again. Two, 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 three, two, one, go. Two. You, you get Needle on Unlock Unicorn, and Unlock Unicorn's kind of like, I'm not gonna lie, Unlock Unicorn's kind of like a horrible Beyblade. Like, I don't even think it comes with one good part. The only reason I bought Unlock Unicorn was because I won a Zenki giveaway. So I, I guess shout out to Zenki. He gave me one of the worst Beyblades in the world. I'm, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. Shout out to Zenki. But I don't think Zenki does giveaways anymore. I think he's over that. Like, whenever I read Zenki's comment section, it's just like a bunch of kids saying, uh, please, are you doing a giveaway? Can you do a giveaway? Can you do a giveaway? And then, like, the replies are all just Zenki, like, roasting them like crazy. It's, it's kind of funny. Guys, I dare you just go on one of Zenki's videos, like, one of the... I guess like a later vi or a later video and just like look at his comment section and look for like where they asked for like free Beyblades or like look where look where they asked for um like uh free Beyblades or like a shout out or whatever and just look at the replies. Zanky like replies to them and he's so savage. I, I kind of feel bad for the kids. Anyway, let's do Regulus versus Vice Leopard next. Three, two, one, go. Two. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, and I met Zenki at the base of the Brawl 2, and he was just roasting the little kids like crazy. He was a complete mad lad. He was like super savage. You wouldn't expect that. So, Z okay, I met him in real life. He seems like a pretty quiet, shy, like nervous guy at first, but then once you get to know him, like I, I started like talking to him, and then he started roasting a bunch of children, and I was like, stop roasting your fans, man. But honestly, I can kind of relate, but like still, like it's not nice. But like, I guess, I guess if he's dealt with this for like, a lot of years now, so like I guess I I, I get it. But yeah, I'm not gonna stop talking about that anymore. Let's talk about something else. Let's talk about how he just burst. How long is it? Oh my gosh, we're already seven minutes in. Okay, let's do let's do. Uh, what should our last battle be? Did we already do all the pairs? I think. I mean, I feel like we didn't do all the pairs. Um, uh, I'm just gonna end the battle with these two. I'm sorry, guys. I'm gonna end the battle with Tornado Wyvern versus Vika Kulkin. My favorite uh, prize pay versus my least favorite prize pay. So yeah, let's get this started. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. Oh my gosh. Interesting battle. See, Vika Kulkin is an attack type, but like, it doesn't really move that fast. And then it doesn't have that much stamina, so I, I wouldn't say it's an attack type, I would say it's a bad type. I mean, almost one, which is kind of surprising since Tornado Wyvern's pretty good bait. Anyway, so yeah, uh, the winner of this whole thing, actually, I guess there was no winner. Honestly, you, got, you guys decide which one's the best. So yeah, remember to come subscribe. Uh, have a nice day, guys. I hope you have a good rest of the day. Have fun doing whatever you're doing. Tell me in the comment section what you're doing or whatever. I do read the comment section, I just don't reply. Because, like, if I, I, I mean, back when I had, like, 5k subscribers, I used to reply to every single comment, it made me so happy to reply to all of them, but now that we're at like 60k, it's really hard to reply, but I still really want to reply, but I tried replying to all the comments on one video, and it literally took me one hour. <laughs> And I, I'm sorry guys, I don't have the time to do that. So yeah, but I do read them and I will reply to some of them. So hopefully you'll get lucky. So yeah, we're gonna subscribe. See you guys later. Left first down.